And welcome back to Backpacking for Beginners. This week is episode eight. Today we're going to be talking all about packing and I'm going to give you a few hints, tips and tricks to help you along the way. Remember that hot countries aren't hot all of the time. Yes, they might be hot during the day, but at night the temperature can drop. When you're flying on aircraft or on transport that has aircon, you can get a little bit chilly at times. That's why I would always suggest having at least one full length pair of trousers, jeans, leggings, jeggings, love those things. Who invented jeggings? I love you. One long sleeve top with you, again, for the same reasons and a hoodie or a comfortable jumper, mainly for flying. Something that often gets forgotten with packing clothes is the fabric. And I'm gonna show you a pair of shorts. Now, these are a pair of black sport shorts from H&M that I picked up before I went. The reason I'm showing you these is because of the actual fabric. It's really thin and lightweight, which is great, but it means this fabric dries super fast. These are gonna dry overnight. They're amazing. This dress was the bane of my life in Australia. What I didn't think about was the fabric. Now, this has actually been hanging, would you believe it? Because look at the wrinkles. Look at those bad boys. Mmm, wrinkly. Imagine it rolled up in my backpack, crunched away. Let's try this. Yeah, well, you get the idea. It wrinkles very easily. Fabric will also affect yeah, your comfort and how sweaty you get. I know it sounds disgusting, but I'm not sugarcoating this traveling look. There are some times you will be disgusting and sweat is one of those problems. So whilst you want a fabric that's quick drying and non-wrinkle, you also don't want it to be uncomfortable and making you sweat. Can I make it smaller? There's ways of doing this. You can roll your clothes to save space. You can use packing cubes. Yes, I know, crazy lady, she loves her packing cubes. I do, because these are a game changer. They seriously will make your life so much easier. And that is why I'm always banging on about packing cubes. So can you roll it? Can you get them in that? The other thing that I find really, really useful is these. Just little sandwich bag, Ziploc bag, and they come with a variety of tops. So you've got the one with the little seal there. You've got the little zipper one, which is good, but that they can break a little bit. Oh, how you open? There you go. Little zipper. I think I had a pair of tights and some socks or something in these and I put them all in, rolled them, squished it down and zipped it up and that actually got all the air out of it and compressed it as well. Also useful for if you're out for the day and you want to put any electronics in, it acts as a little bit of a waterproof if you don't have dry sacks. Dry sacks, packing cubes, all of that by the way are accessible to have a better look at in my backpacking accessories video, which I will link up here for you. I'm going through this pretty quickly today. If there's anything specific that you want me to focus in on, please tell me in the comments down here because I will make a video specifically around that subject. I'm just trying to compress and compact, much like our packing, <laughs> like what I did there. Another question is what will you be doing on your trip because that will affect what you're packing. If you're working, you're gonna need slightly different things to if you're just on a general backpacking trip. If you're going hiking and trekking, you're gonna need different stuff. If you are going to be working, I do recommend packing, oh hello, <laughs> one lightweight shirt, like this monstrosity from Target. Because you can use this for interviews or even for work. This was actually my work shirt in Australia and admittedly, I bought it out there. I wish I'd had one because it would have saved me $20. Or if it's chilly in the evenings, you'll just put it on and it rolls up nice and small. It does wrinkle, but you know, you can't win them all. For the ladies, a pair of black flats, if you're working, can be useful, particularly if you're in hospitality. Hello. Also can be used as going out shoes. Think about mixing and matching items. That way you take less, but you get more outfits out of it. Can I dress it up? Can I dress it down? Could it be used for work? Patterns clash with patterns. 
and it can look awful. So if you are taking patterns, try to make sure you've got some neutral block colors in there as well, because that really will help with the mix and match. If you're thinking, I might want to wear it, chances are you're probably not gonna wear it. Trust me. How are you gonna organize your belongings? Get packing cubes. The other thing that you might find really useful is organizing your cables and wires. You may not have a lot of technology, but you probably will have a pair of earphones, phone charger, things with cables. Cables tangle. <laughs> but there are ways around it. One of the ways around this are these little babies, which are sandwich bag ties. Now they come off, they're just little bits of plastic with a bit of wire in, like that. And they're really useful because they can be used over and over again. And all you need to do is wrap it around your wire, give it a little twist, and you can use one, you can use two, however many you want. Hey presto, would you check that out? One nicely tied up cable. Toiletries, I recommend mini versions of things. You can get mini versions of everything now. Hairspray, shampoo, toothpaste. Yes, they are slightly more expensive, but so much easier to carry around. And if you're going and then staying somewhere for a long period of time, like you're working somewhere for a few months, just buy a bigger version while you're there. You can get travel bottles and pots as well for anything that doesn't come in the mini version. <laughs> which you can then decant. Just make sure whichever ones you use have good seals. Makeup, ladies, you won't need as much as you think. If you're somewhere hot, your skin will thank you for not wearing makeup. You're gonna be sweating, you're gonna have sun cream on. You should have sun cream on. Adding makeup to that, you really need the bare minimum. And if you want more, buy it. There's always cheap drugstores around if you need something else. You will probably be able to buy anything you don't pack where you are or certainly most things there are some exceptions to this i took my own contact lenses to australia i didn't need to they do have opticians but i wanted to make sure i'd got the right ones for me with me i bought the contact lens solution just in the pharmacy out there if you take any regular medications bring those with you do check how legal they are in any country you're going to. Make sure any boxes have your name on it and have your latest prescription and the details for your doctor's surgery. So if you do get stopped in the airport, they've got everything they need to go, this is legit. She's not, he's not drug smuggling and put you in prison or worse, sentence you to death. We don't want that. You probably can get them where you're going but it's up to you as to how you feel about doing that. My parting piece of advice for you in packing is do not max your backpack out when you leave your home country. Don't pack it to capacity where there's no room whatsoever left in it. You will want to buy things, souvenirs, gifts for people, so you will accumulate stuff as you go. So always make sure you've got some space in your backpack to bring things home with you or take with you on your journey. Really hope that this has been helpful. If there's anything at all you want me to go into further detail on, please let me know and I will do a separate video on that for you. Just leave a comment down below or mention it on Facebook, Twitter, you know, all of the usual, which there are links for down below. I will be back next Friday for episode nine of Backpacking for Beginners, where I will be talking to you about travel documents you should take with you on your trip. Until then, have a great week, much love, and I'll see you later. Bye. What do you look for when booking accommodation? My main thing that I look out for essentially is location. I want to be nice and central in the middle of everything I want to do and easily accessible by public transport or walking.